welcome back to my channel if you don't know already I'm drawing die Antwerp. I'm putting some blood on a uh, ninja here because he's a tough guy he gets beat up but he never gets knocked down Die Antwerp is a hip-hop rap duo from South Africa with Ninja and Yolandi Vesa, and they're amazing. They might not be on the radio because they're kind of vulgar, but they're all over YouTube and the clubs. Very popular and something, maybe one of the only things me and my brother have in common. So I am drawing this for him for his birthday. The music I'm using for this video uh, was from a free source and I have the link for both songs in the description. I'm using colored pencils, Ticonderoga, not sponsored. I've been using these pencils in my last few videos. They are very good, but you probably can't find them anymore because they're very old. An old friend gave them to me. I also use Crayola because some of the colors were not available in my pack. I also used a little ink for the lips. And that's probably the only part that I did use ink for. Just wanted to get a little bit more depth. I also used a white paint marker for highlights. I know her right eye liner, the blue part on the other part, is a little lower than the other, but I do fix that later. Yolandi's skin is very pale. I mean, super pale. And I was very concerned about making this uh, too dark or even too light. And she's got some cool tones to her flesh with the hot shadow. That's why I put some blue in there. Uh, blue tones. I'm still learning with flesh tones to get the right colors and stuff. I'm always experimenting and you never really stop learning. There's always something new to learn. How to do something one way and then another way. But really, it's not really any wrong way to do it as long as you get the end result that you were wanting to get. Yeah. And now here's those sexy, tight red shorts. When you're making a drawing or even a painting with uh, multiple red colors in the image, like there's gonna be some red in the background. And these shorts, I want to be very red. They have, they are a different, color red than the back. Well, for my color pencil, it's just red. Red with a little bit of orange. And here's some pink. Actually, I think it's fuchsia. And I added some Vaseline to make it more opaque. That's one trick you can do with your color pencils. Is dip the tip in Vaseline I did it for the pink part and the red background, which is blood sliding down the wall, shiny with highlights. Uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So I used lake red for the, the dark red.
and it's pretty easy to use and it's safe it's not going to ruin your color pencils or your paper all it does is just uh, loosen up the pigment so it can get down on that paper better and it dries pretty quickly especially if you use just a moderate amount this is just on the tip and spread it all around Here I'm using my white paint marker for all those highlights. And now let's get started on Ninja's hair. His hair is very dark, at least in the picture I referenced. And this image is a composite of two pictures that I found to put and I put together to make one unique image. So you won't find this picture on the internet anywhere. But you might find parts of it. So that's what I like to do to make my images a bit more unique. Take multiple pictures together to make a unique image and add some other things here and there. Like I added more streaks down the wall. And so that's one way to get more original if you don't want to just be a copycat artist like I used to be. Just copying the picture just the way it looked. People would say, oh, you're amazing. It looks just like it. But I wanted to be more creative. And that's uh, something that's in higher demand is more creativity. Especially in the modern world when we have so many electronic things and you can you know, just take pictures of things. If you want it to look like a picture, why don't you just take a picture? Or create a unique image. Oh yeah, you could do that in Photoshop. But that's no fun. That's too easy. <laughs> I like a challenge. Use some real art supplies. Something you can hold in your hand. And I think they have more value with the original. Cause I have no clue how to price uh, like a digital portrait, a digital painting. How do you price the original? There is no original. There's, it's on the computer and you just make prints. I guess you can charge for a print, but that's just not my thing. You, if you know what, how to do that, tell me I'm willing to learn everything but for now making traditional art is my thing not dissing on the digital world I've seen a lot and they can do amazing stuff very beautiful stuff and maybe I'll get back into it I used to dabble in it but Nothing really came out the way. I do make uh, digital you know, composites of my references, but they look like crap. <laughs> the way I put them together, they're very rough outlines. And, uh, but, but I just use that so I can have a reference to look at and then just you know smooth it out with my hands, with my art materials. Tension is his tattoo and I felt like I was actually doing a tattoo because it took so long I just wanted to make the details right now on to the watches this color pencil is not a Ticonderoga I don't even know what it is it had no brand name but it kept breaking and it had a black wood I'll never get it again <laughs> the color was great but just kept breaking on me when you're doing fine detail, keep your pencil very sharp. I have an electric pencil sharpener that works really well. Just stick it in on the top and it sharpens it to a very fine point. And it is color pencil safe. You wanna get it, like if you're getting an electric, you need to find one that's uh, color pencil compatible, is what I think it said. 
otherwise it might your colored pencils might ruin the sharpener because of the wax it's most sharpeners are made for lead pencils lead and wood or graphite so here I'm dusting some charcoal onto the back because I wanted to make it darker so uh, the pale Yolande will stand out more <laughs> as well as her uh, watches So the way I did this was take a, ch a stick of charcoal, scratch it on the sandpaper, and use a paintbrush. And you want to you know, spread around and make and tap it on your finger to get some dust off and then spread it on. I was originally wanting to make it smooth, but then I had some streaks, and you know what? I was just going to go with the streaks and make it look like it was a burnt wall. Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's a burnt wall with blood running down it. Now I'm darkening up Ninja here, because he's significantly darker than Yolandi. And uh, I, was always, I was always afraid to make it too dark. But I tried to, but I decided to just go with it and make it as dark as I could. And if I mess up, I can erase because these pencils are slight, kind of erasable sometimes. Add a little more blood. And almost done. And now we're done. Or so I thought. As you can see in the picture, I added uh, folds into Yolandi's shirt and the gold rings on her hand and his hand, if you can see that. Because I forgot to add those. The good thing I noticed, yeah. Just always look over your painting or drawing and make sure you have everything. All the details that you want in there. And there you go. So please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and you can get prints and more like pillows and mugs and other things on redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash April Web Artists. Please have a lovely, lovely day. See you next time. Bye. I think you're thinking I, I like you a lot. <laughs>